everyone welcome back to another exos heroes episode so in today's episode we are having our tier list this is actually an overall tier list for the month of june 2021 we will start with tier c and this might seem familiar to you most of them are here and also there are other new heroes that have appeared through tier c so let's start off in our right side so you have their ramji so ramji is a staple in tier c because again even if without his fate core he is actually very useful because of his nullify heal second would be blue uh rachel blue fc rachel is actually also viable because he can actually replace your gold um gold uh, fate core rachel if you don't have gold fate core rachel Okay, our third one would be Bernadette. The only thing that Bernadette is not in tier B, it's because she is a frost hero. So she was recently buffed. She was given a, a I think a uh, a buff and she actually gives the buff to all her allies. Uh, I think it's 10% uh, per round, but more or less again, because of the mere fact that she is a frost hero, and she actually is a victim of summer's blessing she is still at tier c next would be otard otard as well is actually a good unit to have uh, fc otard i mean because again um if you don't have um, annie or fc annie and if you don't have fc maggie they are uh, she is actually viable for your team especially if you are carrying wasted red Next would be Redly. So this is only faded Redly without the Fate Core. Again, his S2 is not as good as his FC counterpart. But again, it is also tremendous in terms of damage, especially with Burst. So he is still here at Tier C. FC Degas, however, has recently had a, had a buff. Um, unfortunately, again, he is Frost and is victim to Summer's Blessing, and that is why he is still in Tier C. Some of the teams I see in PvP tag actually use him, and uh, he is actually going to be good with the addition of his new, um, I think he has a new passive. And more or less, FC Emma, again, a very good support uh, hero which is um she has been actually a staple in in pvp tag because of her passive as well and we have the last two would be uh deva or fc deva fc deva again a staple for for pvp tag and um more or less for the lower uh lower combat power teams in um, in tag pvp she will be good and to round out our tier C would be FC Legger. So FC Legger recently got her upgrade. So for her upgrade, she actually gives a shield and actually gains more mana. And again, this will fuel her support capabilities in healing, giving a shield, and also um what they call this and also reviving them because she has more mana to do this so let's proceed to our tier b so for tier b we have here so i'll start actually in my left side because most of what is in tier b are generals so i see three generals here that are in tier b because again even if without their fc or their fate course they are still very viable in any content whether it be pvp or pve so you have on your most uh, utmost left side is garf garf again very good defensive um, defensive uh, defensive hero he is actually better now because of a recent buff he received including his fate core next would be uh, FC Brook. FC Brook again, very viable in PV, PvP tag, also in PvE content, also in the, especially in the Dragon. So again, she is here in Tier B. FC, uh, sorry, not FC Schmidt, but Faded Schmidt is here because again, his kit is still good even without his FC and is viable in any content 
especially actually she he is actually still good in the pve content uh for for probably for pvp tag he can still be used next would be fc lepin again fc lepin has been all around with heals with revives with certain resets um uh, unfortunately the upper tiers are getting crowded so she is actually um has gone down from tier a to tier b next would be battery which is fated battery battery is actually again very staple she does not fall far from her fc counterpart and she is very viable for both pvp and pve next would be a new entry um to tier b which is fc gene fc gene with the recent uh, fate core and the rework to that fate core has been very good um i've seen him in action in pvp and in pvp tag as well next would be uh gold faded fc baraka uh, sorry not gold faded blue faded fc baraka um he is actually here because again he is a good substitute for black fate core baraka if you don't have black fate core Bar black fate core baraka in your renombe team and he is a first guardian that is why he is actually very viable to you still even though he is not affected by core memory again the mere fact that he gives you um the, the shield for from uh as a first guardian is actually very good next would be fc baelish and some of you might might be saying am i crazy putting him here well if you've seen his recent upgrade i can tell you that it has been very impressive and just to read a bit on his passive is it's going to be fallen earth so it's a debuff decreases defense of a target by 50 percent okay 50 percent for 10 turns when the enemies is afflicted with a damage over over time effect so you can actually afflict this as an aoe um the damage over time so more or less it decreases the target sorry it decreases the defense of all if he gives damage over time effect so this actually aff uh, affects for 10 turns i'm not sure that um on what teams he is uh, going to be good at but for now i think he is actually usable now especially in pvp especially in tag pvp i'm going to try i'm going to try to build him um and again he is a first guardian if, if you're if he forgot so again let us not forget that fc baelish is actually or has been buffed recently and he's very viable now in pve and also in pvp tag or probably in pvp to round out our list we have fc anastasia so again uh ever reliable anastasia in terms of her shields for first guardian in terms of her healing and in terms for of her s2 uh, which is actually uh, very good in terms of damage again this rounds out our tier b for tier a we have a couple of newcomers here some of you might might have a violent reaction on these picks but again i think that their recent you know reworks would actually be good to propel them to tier a let's start with the right side with fc ulum FC Ulum again, even though that there's a new black fate core for her, I think the gold fate core version of FC Ulum is still better than the black one. So again, she is actually still being used in PvP and she's very good in PV PvE as well. So we have here um Shufraken. So Shufraken Steam is actually cracking PvP, the top 50 so um not that much data not that much yet but again he will play a very big or, or a very important part as as soon as arc verse is out because as soon as the other you know important heroes or factions are going to be banned i'm sure north von trusty will be um you know we would be used more frequently okay next would be black fate core baraka again he is here because the nombe is one of the top um nations right now um he has core memory aside from his blue counterpart 
but again he actually doesn't have that um what do you call this that shield for the first dragon and but recently um if you have gotten a uh, blue fc rara his attack has been buffed as well because of that blue fate core so he is now at tier a next would be fc april so fc april used to be an s tier but i think she is too one-sided in terms of her usage she only really shines if um if fc rachel is there so again um for pvp she is very good but i think she will have to stick with pvp for the moment um i'm not sure if she is viable for pve there are a lot more viable um light heroes in this game so that is why she is in tier a next we have two in in the group in the left side we have two units here that are new and have been, uh, recently been been buffed so we'll start with sorry we'll start with fc naomi um he hasn't been buffed he got his fate core and he turned into a man so more or less i'm actually impressed by his kit in terms of defense i'm actually building him now and i am thinking that he would be very viable especially if fc dorka would come around already right now um it's going to be a bit of a stretch with him only but again he is still very viable without fc dorka but with fc dorka i'm sure he will be very very good actually even with dorka he is actually good right now um with tremendous defense and um, again he's built like a wall and he is now at tier a next to him is fc ramji which is the force guardian so again fc fc ramji you're familiar with him nullify heals first guardian um, barriers and more or less a good frontline shield to have if you're bringing him in your team next would be fc valentina again um fc valentina is in tier a because most of the usage for north one frosty has dropped but again recently has come up um and i bet when arcverse is online if ever it's going to be online um they're going to dominate arcverse more or less uh once the top heroes are gone due to the ban system and the last to the left is going to be um fc Jin. so for fc Jin's recent uh, recent uh what do you call this recent improvements so again it gives him a very good survivability kit and he actually decreases the hit of the of his target uh by 50 percent Oh, sorry by 50 so when that target is charmed so again this this synergy with uh with Jani should be in place but he can be a threat now increases his survivability and his um probably a a selective control of a specific hero in the battlefield and i think he'll be viable with pvp now um now you have uh Jani, shell adams and fc Jin. so again he is now viable for pvp if not for pvp for tag pvp he is going to be good okay so moving on to tier s so here are your um basically your second to the best batch of heroes so we'll start in my left so again dorka is here if she will be getting her fc she'll be back in tier ss so for now she still belongs in tier s there's a drop because there have been there was a hero that was buffed recently and i'll show you that hero later but again the reason for her from ss to s it's because um her 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 faded version cannot really compete without her fate core and more or less once again once she has that she'll be back to ss next on her right is fc iris fc iris has been a staple again on and off in pvp um still viable actually pvp tag 
and also in the content or pvp content a uh, pve content as well next to her right is fc adams which i really enjoy using because of the high damage he deals with his rework a couple of months ago paired with fc Jinai. again very good damage dealer single single target and he can actually turn reset as well so i'm actually um happy that he is here in tier s next to his right is fc maggie fc maggie again has more or less eclipsed fc annie in in pvp in terms of wasted red but it's okay again she is actually very viable because again of first of her first guarded passive and a very good burst for an s2 skill next to her right actually for tantalo although he has dropped from tier ss now he's at s um he still sometimes pops out in pvp i uh, i get it that he's still good it is only when he faces fc schmidt that he kind of softens up but again he is a good hero to have and still what are the odds sometimes of you not encountering schmidt probably a little probably 50 50 but again if you still bring him he is still good he still his skills are still good especially in pvp and also he is good in the dragon and also in pvp in the chapter next to his right is actually fc zeon so for fc zeon again what 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 can i say one of the first um eight cores that was released um i just missed him when i joined last year but again he is still very viable in pvp he used to dominate pvp but again he is with the nombe and more or less i really hate his third resets and he is actually a very very good hero in, P in pvp pve as well and also with the dragon so again very all-around hero to have in your roster next to his right is fc annie so fc annie again as has kind of dropped but her her value is not only in pvp so she is actually very good as well in the dragon and also in uh in the chapters but again sometimes in manual for pvp she is actually better than maggie maggie is actually usually on the defensive side but on offense in terms of her silence uh, for s1 it's very very you know it very valuable to have in terms if you you are carrying wasted red that is why she is still in tier s and next to her on her right is fc shell so again we have seen a resurgence of um of uh uh historic republic because um when fc blue fc rara came out there were buffs to chaos heroes and Junai is chaos so again that is when again her attack increases and again Astoris republic came out and uh, with Jinai actually uh shell came with her so again her kit is very very good s2 turn reset um if you have Jinai or s1 takes out barriers so again very good kit very all-around support and for the last let's proceed to our tier ss okay so we have here tier ss again most of them are the same as the previous uh, tier list that i have uh way back in march so you have there schmidt you have rara rara has been really really good with her blue fate core adding you know ad adding attack to her um schmidt I have nothing to say beast of a character beast of a hero very good in pvp also in pve again rara both good especially in pve as far as pvp pve good with the dragon also good with the chapters and we have a new entry for ss previously in s which is fc garf because he or she got actually a big buff to his fated character and to his fc to her fc so again that is why she is here 
Next to her right is going to be FC Rachel. FC Rachel, again, dominating PvP. Um, probably the king right now on the top of the hill for PvP for the Nombe. Next is FC Battery. Again, um, still a mainstay uh, SS tier. Um, Frank Tranquil is actually still a headache, even if some people say that it can be countered by signature force whatever but again it still requires you to you know to give a lot of effort to kill her and her allies next would be fc Jinai. again fc Jinai have se has seen her resurgence recently and she is actually very valuable in your pve teams again very good in terms of her recent performance and more or less, we will see a lot of um, Historic Republic teams led by Jinai in the future because of FC Jin. Next to her right is FC Talia, which I'm still frustrated because I haven't built mine uh, in terms of a niche potential. So again, pretty, pretty, pretty good uh, hero in terms of survivability, healing, and a very 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 painful headache for my wasted red team still having a problem with her and last but not the least we have here fc redly so again fc redly um very good mainstay for wasted red and now he is being splashed with other teams like greenland even with lenombe um there's a pvp great all-around hero um never underestimate fc redley and if you happen to to face him in a pvp situation take him out as quickly as possible okay so again guys um for those who have stayed this far into the video i know this has been a long video but this is a tier list and i have to discuss a lot of heroes here but if you're still here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, click that bell icon and have a like to this video if you like this tier list. Also, I would appreciate your inputs in the comments below. Please do not, um, do not blame me. These are just my opinions. So more or less, I would like to hear from you in the comment section below whether some of the heroes here should be up or should be down. Okay? Anyway, guys, stay safe, take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out here.